the ignorance and the delusional people that you come across. I say to myself, when I see people who are, you know, highly optimistic about life, ignorant, delusional, and I look at the old me and I realize that I used to be like that. So highly optimistic about this life, delusional, you know, um, thinking that I was going to become, you know, rich, living in a mansion, having nice cars or whatnot. And when you go through the downs of life, it slowly humbles you and brings you down to reality. And you realize to yourself that all this time you've been living a fantasy that you created in your inside your own head. And none of that translates to real life. And when I see these individuals, I just think to myself, I used to be like them. I used to be highly optimistic about life, regardless if life is going bad, I'd be, you'd be highly optimistic that something good is going to come out of a bad situation. And that's not always the case. You, sometimes you could be in a bad situation and bad things just come out of that bad situation. And that's you, that's life basically telling you to be, you know, realistic. It's showing, it's literally exposing itself to you that you being delusional or highly optimistic, just, it really just, um, alleviates more suffering it just causes more suffering when you're realistic about things and you realize that there's a problem that has arise there is no need to be highly optimistic instead you would any rational person would analyze the problem and and um, notice that it's highly unlikely that the situation is going to get any better. That's you being honest with yourself. And the whole thing stems from society. Society encourages kids in particular because when you are when you are, you are a kid, you're delusional, you're ignorant, you're highly optimistic about life because the people that came before you, you know, instill those traits onto you. And you start to develop those traits as you grow. And when you find yourself suffering so much in this reality, and you see life for what it is, you can, no lo you can no longer go back to being ignorant. You can no longer go back. Or else you're lying to yourself after going through a heap amount of suffering. Lying to yourself is just you not being honest. And eventually you, you'd have to tell yourself the truth. You'd have to tell yourself the honest truth that this life is nothing to be highly optimistic about. It really isn't. Some of you may be saying that, may think that I'm talking like this because I've gone through suffering and I'm thus, you know, viewing life from my own lens. But this is, this can occur in the animal kingdom you do you see 
uh, let's say a gazelle getting hunted down by, you know, sees its, you know, probably sees one of its um, newborns getting killed by a lion. Do you think they'll be highly optimistic that their newborn is going to survive? Is going to survive them, them being attacked and potentially and obviously getting eaten by the lion? Do you think they'll be highly optimistic or they just accept the fate that their newborn is going to die at the hands of a lion? They accept reality for what it is and they move on they don't try and save their newborn because they're obviously significantly weaker than a lion so they accept the reality for what it is it's ignorance and delusions is what causes a lot of people to suffer in this reality when you expect things that you imagined in your head to go to translate in real life and it doesn't that makes you suffer more and more it's like in this reality it's like in this reality Certain people get punished for being delusional and ignorant. And those certain people that get punished, in a way, they have to come into realization that they can no longer be delusional or ignorant. They have to, you know, be in reality. And that's where, you know, conscious people come into play. Because at one point... Obviously, we were delusional, you were delusional, you know, ignorant, which is a normal thing because this society programs you to be like that. But when you go through a heap amount of suffering, you can no longer go back to that state of being delusional or ignorant. You can no longer go back to that state. Instead, you, you're forced to be real with yourself. You're forced to analyze reality for what it is. You're forced to not lie to yourself. Ignorance is basically just disguised as misery. Because we have... Um, We have people who are woefully ignorant in this reality. They choose not to, you know, es expand their horizon when it comes to, you know, gaining new knowledge, being open to everything, not stick, not sticking to one information that they've been told when they came into this world by another human being taking their word as as something set in stone as if they're God or as if they're God or they created this world and ignorance is a misery is misery in disguise due to the fact that you can suffer from being ignorant you can make a lot of mistakes by simply being ignorant you not knowing something can potentially cause suffering if you choose not to you know gain new horizons of knowledge that could potentially inflict suffering onto you in the future you know Certain individuals in this, certain people in this life, they're happy due to the fact that 
due to the fact that they are comfortable in their own bubble, they don't wanna, they don't see themselves, you know, leaving that bubble that they've been, that they've always been in since they were a kid, and in turn, they're happy about life. But the thing is that they're blindfolded for so long that they're unable to take off the blindfold and see the monstrosity and the chaos and the suffering that's around them. They refuse to take off the blindfold. They refuse to, you know, step out their comfort zone, step out the step out of their bubble and see different realities for what they for what it is. So they choose to close themselves from any new knowledge. They choose to be woefully ignorant by choice. There are some people who choose to be ignorant by choice, just being woefully ignorant by choice. They are aware of suffering. There are some people who are aware of the suffering that goes around in this world. But they don't want to accept the truth. You know, the truth hurts in this in this um, world we live in. The truth stings people in a way that, that will crush, crush them. It stings them so bad that they'd rather you know, stick to the bubble that they've always been in. Which is understandable. The truth does hurt, but rather hear, rather you hear the truth and be um, free knowing that you're no longer going to suffer. I mean, you will, s I mean, suffering still will happen, but in the sense that you will not be making as much, you won't be making as many as mistakes as if you were to tell yourself lies and you can, you find yourself making a lot of mistakes down the line that could have been easily prevented if you just told yourself the truth from the get-go. Ignorance is a bliss. It's a bliss. It's like that's the only way you can really enjoy this reality is by being ignorant for some weird, odd reason. For the majority of people, that's basically how they enjoy this um, life, just by them being ignorant. And yeah, just being ignorant and believing your own lies is how people, certain majority of people, I mean, live their lives, get through the day. Nobody questions their existence. It's like it's taboo to speak outside the norm, norm the normal the normal programming that we've be, that they've instilled into us. It's it's it's, it's taboo. It's taboo to um, go deeply into um, philosoph philosophical um, analysis when it comes to breaking down reality. Questioning human existence, questioning the religions we've they've been feeding us, question everything that we've been told by people who came before us, people who've also been told information. It's funny how the information we've been given, people act as if it's the gospel. The knowledge, how we 
are people certain that the knowledge that we've been given is not false knowledge it's not you know fake knowledge that has that has been given to us fake knowledge and we could be using wrong information and we're out here thinking that it's the correct information to tell us about evolution religion how are we sure there's no fake knowledge being passed down for the wrong reasons by someone who just by an entity or someone who just has bad intentions for humans as a whole bad intentions how are we sure We just go along, do whatever the government tells us to do. We don't ask enough questions. You know, it's like we just do everything to get by each day, which is just a horrible, weird way of living. Existence itself is something that's phenomenal. Something that just does not happen once every blue moon. Something that you cannot really create. You can't create existence. You see yourself existing and you don't bother asking yourself, questioning your own existence. Instead, you're, instead you find yourself being too centrally focused on on the system, on this stupid system. You're too fixated on competition against one another that serves you no purpose. Fixated on entertainment. Fixated on celebrities and how they live their lives. Fixated on starting a family. Fixated on education. All these materialistic things in this material world we live in. All these meaningless possessions. All these meaningless... Um, Religions constructed by humans to control people. We're too busy, focused on things that is, do not matter. Standard of living is, sh is, is shit. Suffering is still continuing. Regardless of how advanced technology has gotten, the standard of living is still horrible. With the brilliant intellect humans possess, quote-unquote, intellect, you'd think we do something to eliminate suffering or at least minimize suffering, but we put all that energy into technology. What is technology going to do for your mental health? What is technology going to do to alleviate suffering, to minimize suffering? Technology is not going to do anything. Maybe prolong your life but is, is it going to prevent suffering no why can't humans use that intellect to you know crash the system make a better system equally for people they wonder why people why crimes are high they wonder why um why crimes are high and why, you know, wars happen because of this system that's been put in place. That is the reason, but humans did this. For some reason, we don't care. It's like Stockholm Syndrome. It's like we're used to suffering. It's like we're in love with the idea of suffering taking place or another person suffering. You see someone um, kill, let's say, someone's daughter and the family the family um, wants to see that person suffer, rot in jail, get the most brutal punishment known to man. That should tell you that humans... Humans love seeing other people suffer. Even if they've been done dirty, they want to see someone else suffer. A 
at the end of the day, we are all victims of causality. We are all victims. But yet, we like to paint someone else as a bad person or a good person. What is a bad person or a good person? Me, let's say if I came from a family of assassins and killing people was considered a moral thing and another person sees killing people as an immoral thing, would I be considered a bad person because my belief is different to another person who believes killing someone is immoral but where i where i let's say my environment or where i grew up let's say family of a group of assassins killing people is a moral thing to us so you can't really say that there is good or bad people in this world we are all victims of causality We are all victims. The environment we're in, the people we interact with, it shapes our perspective or reality. It shapes our decision-making. It shapes our actions. It shapes on what we view as good or bad, which you have no control over. Do you think a baby is born knowing what is good or bad or who is a, a bad person or a good person? Or do you think I really think a baby knows that killing people is bad? A baby could be born into a family that um, murders people, and that baby be, grows up to become a murderer. Could you would you really say that that baby that who grew up to be that who grew up is now considered a bad person with the environment that they were in that they had no control over no so humans for some reason we love the victim we love to play some some of us love to play the victim card and paint someone else as the villain because, you know, in this reality, a backstory is never needed when people view you as bad. A backstory, a person's backstory is never needed. People don't want to know your backstory when they see that what you're doing is immoral in their own eyes. They don't, want, they don't care for your backstory. They really don't. And that's why... That's the reason why delusion and ignorance causes a lot of suffering in this world. Lack of understanding, lack of introspection, thinking outside of the box, thinking critically. That's the reason why this society is just regressing backwards. I mean, it's always, it has always been regressing, but not this much. But hey, I'm not the one that makes up the rules in this reality. I had nothing to do with this, the way this world is structured. But that's it for now, guys. Peace out.